So welcome back. Those who are interested in Excel BI dashboards, my name is David Wetton. I'm going to cover some more survivor trips under what I call Excel performance intelligence. And again, it's always about uh, out thinking, out lasting, out surviving. So survival tip number four, um, stabilize your slicer lists. Uh, pretty basic thing, but again, very, very important in terms of user uh, pleasure in using your dashboards and for yourself too. Really, dashboards can be either locked in place so that the buttons stay exactly where you, they are, um, or you can let them sort dynamically. Depends on the list, so that's really the question you have to answer. Does your list look best, work best in a locked format or in a scrolling format? So I'll flip over to an example of that. So in this case, I just went to um, Wiki and got some information on U.S. cities, states, population. Just needed something to work with. Doesn't really matter. Grabbed it into Power Query, threw it, and now I'll just throw it into a pivot table. Again, we're not here to do pivot table training, but um, I'll assume you know how to use them if you're doing dashboards already. And I'm going to do uh, whatever, states and population estimates. Good enough. So I'm going to insert some slicers, uh, like we always do. Um, do city and state. Now, one thing I notice almost immediately is uh, the size of the scroll bar. This tells me I see a big scroll bar. This list is relatively short. This one tiny little scroll bar tells me, oh yeah, that's going to be a long list. So chances are I might be able to make this fit onto one screen, which I would much prefer because then I can see everything that's going on and I can see all the states. And that can be very helpful to when I'm studying the data is if I can actually see what's going on with the other bits. This one is simply too big. Um, yes, I can make it bigger. You can also squeeze them together, but then it gets kind of silly. So again, aesthetics and uh, functionality has to win out here. Now that I've got them into two separate lists, yes, I can do this. Um, they work just fine. I can pick some cities and they, uh, they sort, both sort nicely to the top. However, I'd like this list to be stabilized. So under slicer settings, show items with no data last. This is one I use all the time. Uncheck that. Now those items are going to stay put. In other words, the list that's showing here will remain alphabetically um, driven. There are other ways to change it, but once you set the format, it stays in place. This other list, of course, which is way too long, I can't, if I locked it, then I wouldn't see the ones that are showing up down below. So that's my decision. I want this list to be locked and everything to stay as is. And of course, as I should know from my last example, um, stop that from moving around. But anyways, taking my own advice. So that's really all I had to show you on this one is it's a crucial function you can decide on your dashboards. Well, so once you set them up, make your decision whether you want people to see all of the choices, because that'll help when they find blank choices, or do you need to scroll it because the list is simply too big. So that's all there is to stabilizing. You can protect what you need to protect and you can let in what you need to let in. So anyways, thanks for watching and good luck with your products.